Uh, hello everyone, my name's Larry aka Simmy Dad. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all well. Uh, slightly different little video for you today. We are taking a little look at a one-to-one -one, uh, map and how to install it so that you can play it on your own game. So as many of you know, who've been rolling with the channel for a little while, I use uh, a map mod on the debt-free owner operator series called Reformer Mexico. Um, they also have Reformer Sierra Nevada and also a um, another one called Reformer Estelon. Now Estelon is a one-to-one uh, -one map, which basically what that means is a if you took a job and it said it was five minutes till delivery um in the game stock the game um will speed it up based on where you are so if you're like on a freeway between towns and cities you generate like a 19 times 20 times speed um <clears throat> so one minute real time would be about uh sort of 20 minutes game time roughly sort of that kind of figure um, and it's a bit less for in the city so in the city it's about a one to five um, split so one minute real time is about five minutes in the game uh, a one to one what that does is it means what what you see is what you get so if the job says it's five minutes for delivery it's five minutes for delivery real time if the job says it's an hour for delivery, it's an hour real time. So it's equivalent to sort of driving a kilometer or a mile. A mile is a mile in the game um, rather than sort of being sped up. So it's an interesting concept. I've never um, played a one-to-one -one map before. Um, I had installed this on my profile uh, incorrectly, assuming that it was just an add-on. Like I said, it's a fictional map, but I incorrectly basically didn't understand the map. Um, and I just assumed it was like a, a little fictional bit that they'd added on to Reforma Mexico. Uh, and wondered why I couldn't see it in my game. So I did a little digging, found out it's a one-to-one -one standalone, and there's a different way of um, installing it. Um, basically, because it's standalone, when you've installed it, you won't see any of the SCS maps, any of the SCS states on the game. It will just be Reformer Estelon. So we're going to walk our way through installing it. It's quite easy, but there are a couple of steps you need to take to make sure that you get it set up properly. Otherwise, it will not work. So follow along if you want to. Uh, we are going to be starting a little series on this as well on Estelon uh, coming shortly. Just a little mini tracking series type of thing. So... Uh, keep your eye out for that if you want to see some more of the Reformer Estelon map. But without further ado, let's jump into it. So uh, I'll leave the link to this website on in the description below. Um, I'm not a Spanish speaker, so I've said it to English. This is the Reformer website where you get all of the Reformer mods. So um, what you need to do is come, you come onto the website, you click on Downloads. And there's two mods that you need off here. So the first one we need is um, this one here, Reformer Mega Resources. So I'm going to hit download on that. That's going to open up Trucky, uh, truckymods.io. I'm going to come over here and we are going to um, ignore all of these ads and we're going to hit download. And that's going to start us um, start us downloading, hopefully. And then we're going to come back to the Reformer Mexico Reformer ATS website and we're going to scroll all the way down and we're going to check this one here Reformer Estelon right at the bottom it's a free mod again same thing hit download that's going to take you to Trucky as well and we're going to hit download on that so that is going to do that right, so that's your two files downloaded so what you can do from there is you can open up your file explorer, come over to downloads. You've got your two files there, your SCS files, which you can just drop those into your mod folder in ATS. Now, if you don't know how to do that, um, if this is your first time playing with mods, I highly doubt it. But for those that don't know, if you just go to your documents, you'll have a folder called American Truck Simulator. 
and then a folder called um let's see you'll have a folder called mod um mine is quite large it's got a load of uh load of mods in there but it's got the two in there that we just downloaded so you're going to have two files one is mega resources and one is reformer estalon so once you've dropped those into there now what you need to do is open up the game which we'll do that now Alrighty, so we are loaded into the game menu. As you see, this is my series record profile. So because it's a standalone map, you do need to have a brand new fresh profile. You cannot, I repeat, you cannot use this on an existing profile. You cannot use this with a profile that you've already used. It has to be a brand new fresh profile. So what we're going to do with that is we're going to come over to here at the top, click on our profiles. Um, you can see that I've already got one that I was playing around with it the other day. Um, I'm going to click here, new profile. I'm going to call this uh, Estelon 1.53 record. <clears throat> uh, you select your appropriate um, or preferred gender from here. Uh, we'll select a nondescript um picture the old one will do um put your boy in a oh, and um pick ourselves the peter belt that is what we like any old logo will do rsd logistics btc right so um for language this is also an important step you select english united states i don't 100 percent know the reason for that but that is what the guide tells you to do and we need to do it before we do anything else uh, i don't use steam cloud so i'm going to untick that uh, we we'll have a look at map module here it says california it's locked out you can't do anything what we're going to do is we're going to open the mods you have to forgive me because I've got quite a load of mods just listed in here. Um, so we're going to look for the two mods. Uh, best thing is just to do uh, reformer in the search. And you need the um, reformer Estelon. And you need the mega resources. Right, so your, um, I say two mods. Uh, you can use this opportunity to load in any other mods that you want. Um, as far as I know, most truck mods work with it. Um, economy mods work with it. I think graphics mods works with it. But the only two you actually need to be able to activate this, for example, if you were going to just run a base game a run of this with, with only stock trucks, which we're going to do for this example, um, you just need the two so mega resources goes on the bottom of the list and then estelon goes on top and the current versions are version at the time of recording current versions are 1.6.5.153 for estelon and 2.8.1.153 it is absolutely vital that you include this mega resources pack because if you do not include this you will not load the game it will crash so we're going to hit confirm changes and we come back to this screen uh, Steam Cloud has reactivated itself, which I'm going to untick. But you'll see now the map module has unlocked itself. So to load into Estelon, you want to use this one, estelon.mbd in there. And you're going to hit create. And that is going to load you, that's going to create your profile. So if we load in now, I'm going to click continue career. We are going to skip the wizard setting because I've got my own controls files that I use and drop into new profiles. So we're going to skip that for now. But if you wanted to set it up manually, this is where you would do it, as I'm sure you know by now. So we're going to hit skip wizard. And then we're going to give it a moment to do its thing. And this is it. So we're in. So we select the city you want to start in. There's, I believe, five locations we can start from. Uh, yeah, so we've got um the cattle here calera esteban st louis and uh east rose from 
all accounts, um, this is very uh, hilly terrain up here. And more sort of town city driving down here. Um, and this also is closer to a dealer, which unlocks buying a truck quicker. So we're going to hit that as our starting location. I'm going to click confirm selection. I'm going to hit no on a walkthrough tutorial because we've done that. You can obviously, I mean, it's very unlikely that you um, are loading up ATS for the first time and selecting this map module as your first playthrough. But if you did want to hit the tutorial, just click yes there. But I'm going to click no on this occasion. And then just loads in. It'll, it'll do a little refresh from time to time. So we will be back with you in just a second. I'm going to, at this point, going to quit out of the game. I am going to copy my controls schematics, controls files into this profile and we will run this first job so that you can see that it takes there, it says um, distance to delivery one mile and time take, time to delivery eight minutes. As I said, that is going to be eight minutes real time. So I'm going to quit here and we'll be back in just a sec. Alrighty folks, so we've loaded back in, like I said, all I did then was just quit out to so copy my controls file into my um, profile file, so that all my controls are the same. So we are good to go. Yeah, like I said, so we've got a one minute delivery, uh, one mile delivery. It's going to take us eight minutes. Because this is a one to one map. That's going to be eight minutes real time. So, if you are just here to see how you install the map, then that is it complete. You can now set up and play and, and carry on with your own uh, profile. But we are going to carry on with the run. Just so you can see that this is a one-to-one -one map. I don't know what exactly that means. Now this is a fictional map, so I'm not entirely sure if they have right on red over here, but we're not going to chance it. Uh, I will have, if you are setting up this as a second profile and you don't want to have to go through the quick jobs and you want to be able to just jump straight in and, and get a truck, I am going to be releasing another video in the next day or so um, explaining a, a new program that I found that will allow you to edit your save files so that you can um, skip all of this, the need for quick jobs. have discovered a truck dealer. Alright, we're cooking now. Just had a little problem on my uh, device. My, um, uh, my USB shifter decided it didn't want to work. I do believe we probably are right on red here. Uh, they are based out of places in Mexico and uh, America, the USA. So um, it's a little, it's a really mix of locations. As I said I've never played a one-to-one -one map, standalone map before. I've just always stuck with the base game. States, Pro Mods, Canada, messed with some of the other ones like Coast to Coast, but the main ones that the two that I use and I've stuck with for a long time now is um, Pro Mods Canada and the former Mexico test their quality and stability mainly. Um, so I'm fully expecting that this is going to be as good and stable to run as uh, Reformer is. But yeah, as you see we are still rolling, we're four minutes down, we've probably been driving for four minutes or so. Yeah, I'm interested to see what um, what this is like. 
the drive um, a lot of. There's a lot of logging areas, very hilly terrain. There's like a freeway that goes through it. Uh, I think, from memory, when I was looking at it the other day, there is. I think it's it's sort of in an L, roughly L shaped. So from where I set my home base in Zacatl to the top of the map is about 60 or so miles. And then the other direction to the what I call quote unquote bottom of the map is roughly I think about 20 miles. So I think it's about 80 miles in an L shape from one end to the other. But yeah, this is it's quite hilly in places. I've had a little flyover with the um, developer tools, just to check it out. But yeah, gen generally, it looks like a really nice map. Now we are going to be, like I said earlier, we are going to be running a little series on this. And we will be running a few more mods. I've set this up as stands with just the map mods. Uh, just for this little demonstration of how to install it. We are one minute away. Let's see if we can get some. Do some of my best outside driving. You can see what it's like. There are some roads that aren't on the map and aren't don't have. Um, of the X's across the way, so I assume there are going to be secret roads. As far as I can tell, there are um, way stations and all that good stuff we come to expect from BTS. I think we are around the back here somewhere. Uh, these are all custom buildings made for the map. That's why you need the mega resources pack. And uh, yeah, we are going to skip the delivery on this one. As I said, this isn't going to be the series profile. But as you can see there, it's one mile. It's took us 11 minutes. Really, probably two or three minutes of that was us faffing around at the gate. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, that is that is one to one map. Um, it's they they're geared around realism and of adding an additional sort of perspective to gameplay um so yeah i'm excited to play it i'm gonna um like i said i'm gonna be doing a little mini series on it not really you know not any goals or anything like that not a challenge series or anything like that it's just gonna be just me and my truck driving on a one-to-one -one. so i hope you've enjoyed the episode i hope it has been um knowledgeable for you and uh, do let me know in the comments down below if it's been useful and if you are going to consider playing Reformer Estelon. I will leave links in the description below to the Reformer website as well as the trucky links to get to um, the Reformer map mods. As I said, you can run additional mods with this, anything that you like, trucks, trailers, mods, uh, graphics mods, real companies, all of that stuff. So. I hope you've enjoyed and we'll catch you in the next one. Take care.